Alright, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's VMP here, welcome back to a little more of Perizno. It's been a little while since we've had an episode, I saw someone actually comment, is Perizno cancelled? Nah man, no it isn't, come on. Now, we were just, uh, we've just been enjoying Paradigm Worlds and uh, Pandora just recently got really exciting. I'm going to have probably a couple episodes prepared for you guys over this next week. I'm going home for Thanksgiving, um, but I don't have any classes tomorrow before I go back. So I'm hoping to just try to record a whole bunch of episodes for you guys. Anyways, we got a couple things we want to do today. Um, so, first first one is uh, someone we've kind of forgotten about, Princess Linthandril, our bae. We, uh, we, were, we were making the moves on her last time, and then we never actually got married. We need to get that back in the works. Now, we only have a relation of plus 11 with her, but that might be enough just because of how much renown we have. So we're going to ask her, see what's going on. I did start that one quest with her, the missing portrait one, um, but we're at that stage in that quest where uh, we're waiting to find a band of uh, Raldun assassins, and uh, I waited for like a couple weeks in-game just patrolling around Drahara town, or Draharan areas and didn't find any. So, I don't know, we'll save that. Sooner or later, we're going to run into one and we can complete the quest, but I'm in no rush to do it. I don't even think completing that quest gave us that much relationship with her. It almost... I think it just gave us a relationship with the queen, right? Something like that. Anyways. I have great... Uh, which one is it? I forget if it's the Cement Lasting Alliance or I wish to be affiliated to your family. I think it's this one. So what would it take to cement a lasting alliance with your house? Are you proposing that you and I marry? Yes, that is my proposal. Oh! Alright, shouldn't have read ahead. <clears throat> my lord, you are, a great, you are a man of great spirit and bravery, possessed of strength, courage, and wit. It, I would be most honored were you to become my husband. I suppose the next step would, you, uh, would be for me to send a message to your family asking for their permission to marry you, but I suppose that you make your own decisions. Uh, yes, I do. Very well then, as there are no obstacles to our marriage, should we then consider ourselves engaged to be wed? I will organize a great feast, sweet she's doing all the work, <laughs> and we can exchange our vows before all the lords of the realm, if you are willing that is. I am. Alrighty. Well, hopefully a little over a month from now we shall wed. Okay, Jesus. I feel like that's a long ass time. What a... Alright. So we gotta wait a month from now. Uh, so that brings us to part two of this episode. I realize we don't have nearly as much money as we should. Um, not only, you know, on us right now, we only have 6,000 on us, but we're not making as much money as we were last time. Um, I mean, if we look at our, at our weekly budget here, we only got four enterprises up and running, and that's after I just bought one in Tumatarhan. Um, so, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, especially since it looks like we might actually go negative this week. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around, do tournaments in the towns that we can, and for this month, I'm just going to be trying to expand our uh, Enterprise Empire as much as we can, and then once we've gotten an Enterprise at every town that we can, um, then I think we're going to start trying to buy land. Um, I, re I really want to get this up and running, because Prisno gets so much easier once money is just not an issue. That's something that you cannot do in every single mod. You can't do that in Pandora. There's a limit to how much money you can make every week in Pandora. Oh, basically not the case in Prisno. There is there is a there is a soft limit, but it's it's pretty high up there. Anyways, so I'm gonna get on that and I will be back in a sec. Seriously, Makavi just declared war on us? As if like we don't all have enough on our fucking plates? Are you not getting dicked on by uh by the Zan right now too? I guess not too badly. They actually managed to defend Ford and Macau. Oh my goodness. Okay, they only lost two castles? Well, shit. Maybe they're seeing this as an opportunity to move forward. Not like the Zan didn't come through here. Look, they definitely had to come through here to in order to take... Let's see. One, two... Two castles and two towns from the Reich. Not to mention Lesbier and Vinica. Vinica's new. That were also Reich in, uh, before. God damn. All right, well, anyways, I'm going to go make some money. All right, boys. So, on one hand, we've been very successful so far making money. Um, I don't know how many new die works and enterprises we've gotten, but it's got to be around, like, seven or so? Got to be, like, around seven. I won a whole bunch of tournaments. Um, and then, 
I got a call to to join the the Elven campaign, and we actually mounted an assault to take back uh, Vinica. Vinica, I think. Pretty sure it's Vinica. Um, and it worked. We did it. We pulled it off. Um, there's about 700 of the garrison by the time I got there, and we wiped them out. It went great. Unfortunately, the Zan army got there right as we uh, finished, and Queen Arwen got caught. And so while almost all the other lords just ditched and ran, we stayed back to help out Queen Arwen. And so, uh, it's been, you know, interesting so far. It's been interesting. Uh, the tactics, to be fair, seem to be working for the most part. Um, what we've been doing is kind of guerrilla hit and run tactics. So the elves, obviously, we have some incredible archers, and the Zan are not known for carrying shields for the most part. Um, I, instead of explaining, it's probably best to show you guys what I mean. So we'll wait for some of these Zan to uh, come forward. Uh, let me get some of my heroes up here. I only have one hero, huh? Oh no, I have companions. Oh shit, I forgot that that was like a subgroup. Companions, forward. So basically my companions hold the line generally. And then we distract them for as long as we can. Oh shit, he just took two shots, okay. Yeah, that's a headshot right there, buddy. The first couple battles had a lot of uh, mounted Zan units coming our way. Now it seems not so much. Which is definitely a relief. The the mounted berserkers are, are no fun. So now it's just a bunch of their foot units coming in. And we are the elves are pretty good against those uh foot units that don't have any shields at all. As you can see, just look at the hail of arrows coming in there, it's grotesque. Got here, boy. Alright, time to go. Let's see if we can uh, get them to chase us this way. Yes we can. Yes we can. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's toss a heal out for everybody. Don't know how hurt any of the elves are getting. As you can see in the kill feed, it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad at all. And so we generally get a few of them to follow us just because we've killed so many of them by the time the uh, full force can actually get here. And then we just do this, spam until we run out of arrows. And get the fuck out of there, rinse and repeat. And it seems to work pretty well. Get a beginning a lot of XP. We've leveled up twice. I'm um, doing this. We're not doing this. I've leveled up once while I was just doing tournaments and stuff, and then we leveled up another time doing this between the, the siege and these battles. So actually, I was saving those points, so might as well do them now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop them right into intelligence. I think intelligence. Oh, maybe some charisma would be nice too. We need the leadership. Even with all the all the new <laughs> die works and, and whatnot, we're still not turning a profit. We're basically breaking even. Some new leadership would be pretty nice. Yeah, we're going to start getting some more charisma just for the, that extra leadership. Um, it looks like we got an extra agility point somehow. Still still don't know how, how or why we get these random points. But we're not complaining. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pump that into riding for sure. Shield. Athletics is not hugely important. Um, let's go ahead and get horse archery. I know, I, you know, I've heard some people say that any horse archery beyond six is is useless. Um, I don't know the truth to that. I feel like, the, oh my god, he just did 187 damage to our mount. Oh, fuck. Get him off of me. Thank you, boys. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Getting surrounded here. Okay, he's just fucking me up, huh? Damn it, where are these arrows at? Hold on, there's arrows on the ground. We get a few of those, and then we can try to dismount one of these dudes. Oh, he's shooting at me too, you little shit. Ah, oh, they're picking us off. Where am I even getting shot? Oh, that's probably where I'm getting shot from. Hmm. Yeah, that might be it. That might be it. Okay. Oh, I even tried to do a VMP move and just did not work out. Nope, okay, we're getting stunned in the middle. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> nothing we can do about that. Alright, but look right there. We lost one unit. One singular Sunrise Rider. The allies didn't lose a single unit. We took out a 160 of them. 160 of them. To one. That right there is the strength of the elves. So we're going to keep on trying to do this. And toss some heals for everybody. Is this a good map? This is not really much of a hill. Alright, hold up. Let me cycle through the maps. I've just been kind of... Yeah, this this is the map. 
This is the map right fucking here. Okay, so let's put everybody right there, and then companions. We want you at the bottom of the hill. There we go. Pretty sure, is this, this is the same one from last time, isn't it? Something like, something like that. But yeah, it's been going pretty well, so we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like there's actually a decent amount of cavalry this time. Like at least 12, 15 of them, maybe? Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Uno, dos, tres. Headshot. Uh, headshot. Nope. Whatever. We got him eventually. There's the headshot on the one guy who was already hurt, and we didn't need to do that. Who did I just get hit by? Question mark? Hmm. It's probably those dudes. Also, by the way, <laughs> it, only <laughs> it only took you guys, you know, a season and a half of uh, reminding me in the comments. I did finally learn how to get my horse archers to, uh, to I guess, circle around the enemy. Um, kind of like what the enemies are doing to us right now. And apparently, so there's no actual command for it. There's no command for it at all, which is, which is confusing, because I feel like that should be a command. You just have to assign them to the horse archer group, and then the game does it automatically when you charge them in. So that's interesting. It's a little annoying. I wish they would have just, uh, I don't know, made an order for it. Oh, shit. This is not a good spot to be in. I don't want to lose my horse already. Alright, well, we do have some of them following us, at least. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Woo! Woo! The feed, baby! The feed! Oh, we missed a shot, finally. The headshots are on point, though. Oh, no. Well, this is not the greatest situation to be in. Far from the worst, though. Oh, okay, 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 I see, I see you. Chill out, chill out. Buddy, oh my goodness. Well, alright, let's get out of there. We actually started losing a few units there. I started losing units. Alright, we just need to send my units to the back of the map. Because, look, that's not part of the deal. Okay, that's not part of the deal. I'm not supposed to be using, losing my units here. I'm saving you. I came here to give you my uh, my great knowledge of tactics. Hey, stop laughing. Stop laughing, you in the comments. VMP tactics? I know. I know. But I, no, this is not the map. Come on. Give me something better. Give me that other one. No, no, no. Not this one. Give me the other one. Yeah, there we go. Well, ah, no. This isn't great either. Maybe, all right, I guess we'll just have to live with it. I can't. Alright, let's send all of our boys back there, except for our companions. Companions up close. Honestly, there's a hill right here that it looks like the our allies are going up. Can't be horrible. And we do have a, a longer view of them here. Like, we see them from farther away, so. Can't be too bad. What am I doing? Oh, no. Ooh. Got him. Ugh, that shot, though. What am I doing? Thank you, horse, for stopping... I'm blocking my view there. Okay. Still got more of them here. That's one shot on him. Killed someone in the back that I wasn't even aiming at. Feels good. How's that not a headshot? Ouch. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. You. Gotcha. You. Come on, finish the feed, baby. Oh, my goodness. Popping off here. That's what we're doing. Popping the fuck off. back. Go ahead and toss a heal for ourselves there. Uh-huh. 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 tell which ones are actually trying to aim at me here. We've already lost one horse doing this, though. One of them got, uh, I didn't notice he got lamed and then he got killed afterwards. That uh, seems to be pretty common in our, uh, Perizno playthroughs, though. We don't notice when the horses go down. <laughs> They die pretty often. Wow, the enemies got slaughtered. That entire group that was swarming us got fucked there. Not all my not all my heroes are unconscious, but they did a, they did a pretty good job while they were up. So can't can't be too mad at them. Let's go ahead and toss a heal out for our allies, even though I don't think they've taken too much damage. I don't think many of the enemy archers got a, even a chance to uh, do anything. Ugh. Come on. Okay. 
fuck, our horse is about to go down. Uh, I could, oh, there it goes. And it's crippled! Ha <laughs> ha! What? Wouldn't you know, man. Of course it got crippled. God damn it. I will fuck him up, too. Alright, well, here's the next wave coming in. We've already killed 23 ourselves. I mean, this isn't, this isn't Pendor. This is Perizno, man. We don't normally get kills like that in Perizno. But here we are. Uh, out of arrows. Lovely. A few more there. Oh, boy, they are kind of rushing us here. Oops, some more arrows, some more arrows. And pop in over here. Hit them for that one time, that two time. Mm, damn it. Okay. Let's move up a bit. Alright, we're starting to lose some units here. I think it's time to get the fuck going out of here, if we can. Retreat. Good stuff. Great stuff. Only lost six allies there. Took out another 155 of them. They still have 1,000. Jesus. Jesus. Alright, well, I'm going to keep on doing this uh, for as long as we can. We'll see how long this actually works for us. Uh, and I'll come back when either something changes or the uh, the battle's almost over. Oh my goodness, we popped off this one, man. Holy shit, 67 kills already. Yeah, we doing work. Oh, and the elves can even feel it, man. They're, they're sending their boys forward. Holy shit. Unfortunately, we did lose our second horse uh, permanently. They dead dead. <laughs> That's all right, man. We should get hella loot off of this. Lost a few of our own units as well. The uh, the horse archers that circle around always end up finding our units in the back, unfortunately. So I'm starting to think I should almost, instead of sending them to the back, just try to put them in the middle of the, the elven army. I feel like that might be the move. I'm not sure, though. All right, trying to get a heal there, and I think that might be a good time to do a little bit of this. Yeah. So lost three units there. Really not horrible at all. Felt like more than that just because so many people got wounded. But uh, now we're doing great. Lost 10 units there. That's a bit much, but hey, another 235 of them gone. The odds are almost 2 to 1 now, boys. <laughs> almost 2 to 1. Good shit. Ah, oh, but we don't have a... Fuck, we don't have a... Oh, uh, we don't have a horse. That's not great. Alright. If we're not going to have a horse, then we need to have at least a hill to shoot down. There we go. This will work. This will work. Alright, everybody chill right here. Uh, companions, follow me for a sec. Hold on, let's move up a little bit. And actually, I can just tell my my companions to get off their horses. Let's wait for them to get up to me. All right, dismount everybody. Thank you. All right, and then should probably tell them to remount. Yeah, go ahead and remount. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. So there's still a few of those horse archers. There's like none of their normal cavalry left though. They're all dead by now. Oh, look at these shots, man. Just raining them in from range. From downtown. <laughs> there we go. Alright. No, now we're missing. Alright, well, we're killing some of their ronins right now. I mean, this looks good, man. Look, yeah, I mean, <laughs> without even looking at the kill feed, I can tell we're just going to be popping off. Alright, now we see some shields. But, to be fair, like, all the Zane units with shields are trash. <laughs> like, they're all really bad. So, seeing shields is not even that big of a worry. And if I can get some of them to turn around, like, if I can get them to turn around and respect me here. Also... Back up there, boys. Get over there. Ooh, fuck, he's not looking there. We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, good stuff. What? Why? Thank you. I don't know why that was still on my screen. It's kind of annoying. Alright, good stuff. Uh, let's just toss some heals for everybody. Right now, that first wave got manhandled pretty handily. That really wasn't too bad. Okay, some arrows on the ground. Whoops. Alright, well, we'll pick them up anyways. We're, we're running a little low. Or not. Thank you. So many arrows. Okay, back on the horse. Good stuff. Ooh, who's hitting me? It's those dudes. It's those fucks on the horses, man. They're so annoying. 
It's a good thing that, I mean, I, I love the changes that they made to the, the, the Cab Archer AI, though. It just makes them so much more effective. They, I mean, I'm not saying they're as good as, like, a human player. Oh, no, they fucked our horse up pretty quick. I'm not saying they're as good as a human player. Obviously, they aren't. Um, but for mass AI tactics, yeah, way better. Oh, you guys think it's so funny to shoot me, huh? Well, now you all are gonna die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real funny. Bitch! Ooh, shit, one of them just hit us for 38, man. To the Yumi. The Yumi guys are no joke. <laughs> Locking arrows, thank you. Even though we're probably not gonna survive long enough to use them. We're getting flanked here. Yeah, we're getting shot at from multiple angles. I'm about to go down. I'm trying to see if I can get a heal off here, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. We'll give one last heal to the troops before we're inevitably... Ugh. Ah! Three damage from a veteran swordsman. Feels bad. Okay, another 50 of them down, though. Yeah. Shit, man. <laughs> we're cruising. All right. I'll be right back when we're almost done. Okay, I think we're almost done here. Oh, what a battle, man. Another 50 enemies we've killed this wave. Dude, we have... How many kills do we have total here? 1,400? Dude, I think we got a solid 300 of those in this battle alone, man. We just popped off. Feels good, man. <laughs> Feels very good. A little bit of renown. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got nine relationship with Queen Arwen. She knew she was fucked. And, oh, we get to capture some of these dudes. Ooh. What do we got? Marshal? Prisoner. Ah, good natured. All right, get out of here. Mmm. Now, here's why we did it right here. First off, well, we're, we're not going to worry about the prisoners for right now. Let's go ahead and get the good units out of here. So, we really didn't lose that many. We lost, like, maybe 10 throughout the whole battle, if that. If that. We really didn't lose that many at all. And they got some nice units here for us. Oh, including a Wyvern Dragoner. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ooh, Light Ren Weird, nice. Some Sheriffs. Some more Realm of the Falcon units. Dude. And we'll get some of these heavy marksmen as well. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. Defender of Faith. Eh. I don't know if we want any of the rest of these. Lintorn Archer? Maybe. Look at the Lintorn Archers. There we go. Okay. So, we can have up to 120 prisoners now. Bop. Oh, okay, 76. It wasn't as many as I thought it, thought it was. <laughs> all right, let's, so let's see. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff. This is going to sell for a serious amount of money. Fairly serious. Nothing too crazy. All right, so let's see. Hop into Vinica here. Like I said, we took it back from them. We're the one faction who's been able to successfully retake a castle from them so far. So that's the one good news. The one little piece of good news. The other bad news is that they've just continued to expand. And um, they have uh, finally taken the Maccabian town of Ford. Um, I don't think they've expanded on the Reich here. Yeah, they haven't really done anything to the Reich. We're, so we were at war. So remember how Maccabia declared war on us? Uh, then um, the Hacken Empire declared war on us. And it's like, guys, this is a very poor time to be doing this. Um, luckily, they made peace, like, within a couple weeks afterwards, so we're no longer at war with either of them, so we at least got that going for us. Uh, it's also really helping out our, our budget here, because way less stuff is under sequestration. Still a decent amount of stuff, but that's basically all things owned by, yep, the Zan. <laughs> by the Zan. So, let's see. What's the, uh, what's the damage here? So, we're losing five grand a week now. Still not great. And that's with us just recruiting a massive army right there, which is why our, our wages are so high. Let's go ahead and sell these prisoners that we got. Yeah, 11 grand. Okay. That was a pretty dope battle. Duke Ferenduel 
just stacked troops right there. He has 400 now. Oh my goodness. Oh, and Lord Chinggis already managed to escape. Are you kidding me? We've, we had him in our party as a prisoner for like two hours, not even. 30 minutes and he's gone already. Who was in charge of that? That man needs to be fired. Probably executed, actually. Alright, so let's see. Is it time to get married yet? <gasps> oh! My lord, I grow tired of waiting for the lords of this realm to assemble. Perhaps we should take the first opportunity to marry in any great hall that is open to us. Okay. Wait, what, what quest are we doing for her right now? Yikes. <laughs> can we get this thief? Oh, maybe we can actually try to get this thief here. What task do, are we doing with her? Wed her betrothed? Okay. So why don't we do it? I don't understand. What's going on? You just said you wanted to do it right now. Let's do it right now. I'm okay with it. Oh, Queen Arwen is recognizing your loyal service as a vassal by rewarding you with silvered elven armor. Oh! It's only slightly better than what we currently have, but oh! <laughs> we'll take it. Recognition, man. This is what we've been waiting for. All right, so hold on. Let's, let's, see, what, let's see what this is, actually. It's actually very light. A um, little less head armor. Same body armor, a lot more leg armor. Okay. How does... Oh, that looks sharp. Oh, that looks sharp. Okay. And, you know, since it was a gift from our queen, I feel like it's... Uh, we can almost pretend it's like it's part wedding gift for uh, marrying her daughter and part, uh, you know... Okay, let's, let's just do it. What do you... Alright, maybe we have to wait for her to go to a town, which the only town that we currently... Oh no, we have Vinica now, but she's not going towards it. Now let's just accompany her. We'll see where she's going when she stops back in town. Okay, yeah, you're fighting with someone. Why? Onishi? Why are you attacking Onishi of all people? The dude's a beast! Alright, hold up. Let's wait until morning at least. Okay, big, we're coming in. This is our first challenge as a couple together, all right? I'm confident we'll, we'll do okay. All right, give, me, give us a nice nice elven battlefield here. Yeah, that was a part part marriage gift for, mar for marrying her, uh, her daughter, and uh, another part, you know, saved her ass on the field of battle gift. You know, when we, when we single-handedly take out like a quarter of the army that was attacking her when we killed more troops in that battle than she had total when we got there yeah I feel like uh, I feel like the silvered armor is the least she could give us how, how does it look how does it look here wait hold up that was yeah man it's looking sharp it is definitely looking sharp all right boys keep it up keep it up we're dropping shots right now. We're dropping bodies. That's the nice thing about Onishi, at least. None of his unit. He doesn't have any cavalry, and he doesn't have any shields. Pretty fucking perfect for uh, for archers to go against. Now we just can't let these guys actually get to our archer line, though, because then it would get ugly real quick. The kamikaze warriors are no joke. Oof! We just got popped hard. All right, buddy. Well, guess what? I can hit you when I'm moving too, buddy. I don't even have to because our uh, our allies are shooting you while you're distracted looking at me. Get him out of here. Good stuff. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, Lindandril! We were doing so good! Why did you charge in like that? We're elves! We have the ranged advantage! It's like Obi-Wan taking the high ground, saying it's over, and then promptly jumping down from the high ground. Why? Why are you doing this? Oh my goodness. Oh, we are cruising on this horse, by the way. Damn, this thing feels fast. Maybe it's just the first, you know, unlamed horse that we've used in, in ages. <laughs> that is also distinctly possible. Oh, that poor... Oh, what did I just run into? Oh, get me out of there. 
That poor Sunrise Rider got fucked up. As is that one. Yep, that was an Alintorn Knight, and now a dead Alintorn Knight. Okay. Well, I guess the only time I do is to get closer, because otherwise... Uh, they have no range support at all. What are you doing? Like, just... What are you doing? Okay, there's a bow right here. I need these arrows. Hello. Ooh. 33. That's... That's what we're looking for. Oh my god, so many Ronin. I mean, I prefer the Ronin to the, uh... The Kamikaze Warriors, but still... They're not bad. The Ronin are not bad. As seen by them absolutely decimating the Princess's army. Admittedly, there weren't many of the Princess's army left, but still, it wasn't great. God, why won't, why won't all the lords just turn their armies to me? Let me control it, okay? You know, I don't normally use tactics, all right? I don't, I don't normally use tactics, because I don't normally have to. But when I do, when we're facing the OP Zan, you know, I can I dust off the old Sun Tzu's Art of War book. You know, a little bit of... <laughs> blow it off. You know, a quick go to the, the few chapters I got bookmarked. Hmm. When you have lots of archers, take high ground. Keep high ground. Rain arrows upon enemies. And there you go. That's really all there is to it. Alright, I was lying. I don't actually have Sun Tzu's Art of War. I have the Cliff Notes version. But, really, it seems to be working. That's all I've needed. There you go, yeah, no problem. No problem, princess. You've defeated me, little man. Kill me now. I will take your money. Oh, we just got 10k for that. Normally, I'd be a little... unenthusiastic about that. I'd be like, whatever. 10k, whatever. But, uh, nope, we actually need that. <laughs> we will take that gladly. Um, also, I set up our hired knights. Where are they at? There they are. Um, these guys... Our tanks, man. Oh, the armor, the sword we got them, the horse they're using. Ooh, I actually want to see them in battle. Hold on, yeah, let, me, let me bring these bad boys up. They are nasty. All right, there we go. Good stuff. Anybody want some of this? Ooh, wait. Let me put that in there. Who wants this? Somebody better take it. There we go. I had a feeling. It's a very nice suit of armor we just gave to one of our heroes. Cool, cool. Take all this. Good stuff, good stuff. Hi, right, Princess. You're a little hurt. Your troops are very hurt. So why don't we go back to Elsinore? Or the other direction. Yep, yeah, that was the other thing I was planning on. Where are you? What are you doing? <sighs> okay, yep. Yeah, she's going back to Elsinore. All right. Thank you. Jesus. I feel like it wasn't that complicated. All right, so let's go ahead and drop all this off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now the question becomes, who do, who do we care about protecting more? Her or uh, Venator? Because I'm not going to lie, we're ride or die with both of them. Venator, man, if they ever go to war with anybody, we're showing up. We're just going to camp Venator and make sure nobody can take that town. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Now that we are in town, can we go ahead and get to business? To business! My lord, I have grown tired of waiting. Let us proceed with the vows immediately. My lord, with this assembly as my witness, I vow to take you as my husband, to honor, cherish, and obey you. May the heavens bless us with health, prosperity, and children. And I vow to take you as my wife. We gained right to rule. Why is the Karinus monarchy so pissed off with us? Why did that piss them off? Alright, we are now husband and wife. Let the festivities commence. Oh, there we go. We get the cutscene, baby. Look at that lord showing up in his full armor. Wow, what a guy. And there's Raleigh in his dapper little tunic. Is that Queen Arwen? I think that might be Queen Arwen bringing her down. It's kind of awkward that there's no uh, there's no music playing. Okay, Raleigh's just staring at her. All right, fair enough. Hey, you know, it's your wife on wedding day. That's, that's fair enough. Oh, look at him. He looks so happy. Oh. Is there no priest? Okay, there's the priest. The priest was just hiding behind Riley. I was like, that's kind of awkward. It looks like we're just staring at a wall. Boom. True love. I mean, we say true love. We, if we talked to her and basically just said, hey, you want to marry? And she said yes. 
we were we just skipped the dating phase. <laughs> okay, so cool parts. The cool part of being married to her is that we have access to her garrison now, and she has a lot of very nice units as well. We can drop all of our units off here. Here's the cool part. We can drop all of our units off here and not pay for any of them. I know. It's fucking sweet. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to drop all of our boys off here. And uh, I'm going to do some grinding. Continue grinding. Um, not just on Princess Lithandro, but, you know, grinding in terms of the game itself. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get some money. This should be good for... We, we should be able to save up a lot of money doing this. God, it's going to be a bitch to take all these units out of here, though, low-key. Just like it's a bitch to put all of them in here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If we wanted to, we literally could just, just could just go in and take all of her units. That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why it's nice to marry a marry a lord, or in this case, a lady. We don't normally see this because we don't normally play as female characters. But it is a very I mean, it's an interesting mecha mechanic. I don't know if it's the most realistic, but it is, but it is nice. Also, we get to take all of her prisoners. Um so to do that quickly, let's just go ahead and uh Bop. I don't know how many prisoners she has, but I feel like we're about to make a lot of money. Hold up. Let's go check this out. Okay. 15k. That's a pretty good start. Um. <laughs> uh. This. 20k. Holy shit, boys. You know, some people get married for tax benefits. I can relate. I can relate. That's basically what we're doing right now. <laughs> we're getting married for the money. 22 grand. It just keeps going up. What the hell? Oh, there's so many. There's so many. How much money are we making off of this? 24 grand. It just keep going up. What? What is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, twelve grand. All right, all right. It's getting under wraps now. It's getting getting under wraps. So we'll, hold up, what do we got in total here? It's like ninety. We've made like what ninety k or so. About ninety k off of this so far. There's the rest of them. The last thirty two. We made damn. I mean, we made damn near a hundred k off that. We're up to one hundred fifty k. Jesus. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, here's what's gonna happen. We're going to buy 19 more acres of land here to get us up to four. Let's do up to, let's do up to 45. 45 out of 50. I feel like that's pretty close. We can do that. Boom. So that's basically maxed out because we already have a dye works here. We already have the max amount of land that we can realistically afford here. Looks good. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> Well, we're going to end this episode off here. It's been a very successful episode. I'm happy with this. I'm very... Oh, wait. Let's not forget to uh, drop her own troops off back. There you go. <laughs> Mobby. Mobby. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, going to have some episodes of, uh, of Prophecy of Pendor and Paradigm Worlds for you guys over Thanksgiving. And uh, I might even have a little live stream for you guys today on uh, Tuesday. But until then, as always, take it easy, boys. <laughs>